Did you know that salicylic acid has been shown to treat scalp conditions such as sebum buildup and dandruff up to 14 days after use? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at exactly that. We're going to be looking at the science behind salicylic acid, how it works and how you can start implementing it as part of your hair care routine. So guys, before we get into the video on salicylic acid, if you are worried about your own hair loss, you can click the link in the description, upload a quick hair selfie, answer a few short questions, and then you will get your free hair loss analysis. So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is we're gonna first look at what salicylic acid is. We're gonna look how it works. We're gonna answer whether or not it can be used to combat hair loss. We're gonna look at some of the scientific research we're gonna look at the side effects, then we're gonna look at the brands, the availability and cost. Then we're gonna look at how you can make your own salicylic acid shampoo. Then we'll look about treating the real problem behind hair loss before a short conclusion. So first, you're probably wondering, what is the salicylic acid? Well, salicylic acid is a phenolic acid originally sourced from the bark of the white willow, but it's also found naturally in a variety of foods, including blackberries, apricots, walnuts and peanuts. This acid contains keratolytic properties, meaning it removes an excess buildup of skin flakes as they develop. This buildup is common in individuals with dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis and is also seen in individuals with scalp psoriasis and eczema. As such, salicylic acid is a beneficial compound in the treatment of dandruff and other flaking scalp conditions and should be considered if you're looking for a natural solution to the itching, flaking, and general irritation. So how does it work? Salicylic acid, as described, is a phenolic acid. More specifically though, it's a beta-hydroxy acid. To understand how salicylic acid works, you first need to understand the acid structure. As a beta-hydroxy beta acid, salicylic acid has a chemical formula that separates the hydroxy group from the acid group with two carbon molecules. If you aren't a scientist, that may not mean much. However, it means a great deal when it comes to how it interacts with your skin. The two carbon molecules have a big impact on the compound's effectiveness. The double separation between the hydroxy group and the acid group makes the compound more oil soluble. This means that it can more easily penetrate the, pure, the pores than an alpha hydroxy acid, with the hydroxy group and the acid group only separated by one carbon molecule because it can devolve to a certain extent in oil. Now, what does this mean for those who suffer from dandruff and other scalp conditions? Well, it means that salicylic acid, the shampoo can effectively remove scalp flakes while gently cleansing the scalp. And this is because it can enter the pores with ease. In addition, the compound can treat clogged hair follicles, which is essential if you want a healthy scalp with ample hair growth. So can salicylic acid combat hair loss? Hair loss has a number of causes, including genetic predisposition, stress, illness, and medications. While salicylic acid may not combat all types of hair loss, it can certainly contribute to a healthier scalp, which is a solid start for anyone looking to grow their hair. Now to fully answer the question, let's take a look at how salicylic acid works. Salicylic acid removes the top layer of skin in addition to the natural buildup of semen, dead skin cells, and dead hair. For those who suffer from a scalp condition such as dandruff, scalp cirrhosis, salicylic acid can gently remove the buildup of flakes and provide the hair follicles with a clean environment. Even for individuals with male pattern baldness, salicylic acid offers a promising treatment method. And this is because the sebum that's removed from the scalp contains DHT, which is one of the main causes of hair loss. Now with DHT removed from the scalp, there is less risk of miniaturization, and as a result, hair loss. So can salicylic acid combat hair loss? Well, in some cases, yes. Salicylic acid is a great way to directly combat hair loss in individuals with dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, scalp psoriasis, and similar conditions that lead to excess buildup of skin. In individuals with androgenetic alopecia, it can also be used indirectly removing DHT buildup from the scalp and preventing it from causing further damage to the hair follicles. So now we're gonna have a look at what the scientific research says about salicylic acid. 
With salicylic acid treat treating such a wide array of skin conditions, from acne to dandruff to ringworm and more, it's a wonder that is the base ingredient for such a large number of cosmetic products. Fortunately, this compound's popularity lends itself to some helpful scientific research, so let's take a look. There was one research that's performed in 2002, and it's compared the use of a salicylic acid shampoo with Nizerol shampoo. Throughout the study, it was clear that both shampoos effectively treated both dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis by reducing flakes and buildup. However, at the end of the study, and even 14 days afterwards, only the salicylic acid combination was shown to reduce itching and irritation in patients with seborrheic dermatitis. Another study performed by French researchers in 2009 compared the efficacy of salicylic acid and in two different combinations. The first combination was salicylic acid at 1.3% and lif hydroxy acid at 0.1%. And the second combination was salicylic acid at 3% with cyclopyroxylamine at 1.5% and menthol. Both combinations decreased symptoms in individuals with mild to moderate seborrheic dermatitis, including scales, redness, itching, discomfort, and dryness. The combination with the lift, the, well, the first group did show some better results, but the differences weren't significant. Now, as you can see from the graph on the right, or well, the dark bars, uh, they achieved a higher percentage of improved patients across the five main criteria for success, which were dryness, cutaneous discomfort, itching, reddening of the skin, and white buildup. So now we're gonna have a look at some of the side effects of using salicylic acid. As with any compound, natural or not, it's possible to experience an allergic reaction or adverse reaction. This means it's important to test the product on a small patch of skin before use on your scalp. In addition, you should follow all dilution and dosage recommendations. If you're pregnant or nursing, consult with your physician prior to use. The most common side effect is skin irritation, and use of salicylic acid should be stopped immediately if this is experienced. In addition, stop use and seek medical help immediately if you suffer from signs of anaphylaxia including hives, difficulty of breathing and or swallowing, swelling in the mouth, tongue, lips or eyes, or nausea and vomiting. And now let's have a quick look at the brand's availability and cost of salicylic acid. There are a variety of over-the-counter shampoos that contain salicylic acid, most of which are targeted at controlling dandruff and other such scalp conditions. A few popular brands include Neutrogena, Shia Moisturizer African Black Soap Deep Cleansing Shampoo, and Avalon Organic Itch and Flake Therapy. They all utilize salicylic acid as a main ingredient, and they all claim to treat scalp buildup and reduce itching and flakes. The cost for such shampoos varies. Uh, Avalon brand can be found, for example, at $11.22 for 14 fluid ounce, and Neutrogena is, can be purchased for $7.14 at 4.5 fluid ounce. Now, if you're interested in making your own salicylic shampoo, we've got a quick recipe to share with you now. So what you're going to need is a cup of distilled water, four tablespoons of liquid Castile soap, two teaspoons of white willow bark extract, and 10 drops of tea tree oil. What you want to do is combine the water and the soap, stirring until you get a nice soapy solution. Next, you want to add in the white willow bark extract and tea tree oil and stir until combined. Then before you use it, you want to just make sure you've mixed it well, and then to apply it, you're just going to pour it into a palm and massage into wet hair and scalp. Work the solution deeply into your scalp and be sure to pay special attention to the most troublesome areas of your scalp. Then leave it in for two to three minutes and then rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. The benefits of such are that the salicylic acid shampoo is excellent addition to your hair care routine, treating and preventing the buildup of dead skin, sebum and harmful chemicals like DHT. In this recipe, the white willow bark extract acts as the source of salicylic acid. However, feel free to experiment with other sources like aspirin or directly use salicylic acid 3% solution itself. Now, if you're looking for a cheap and effective treatment for hair loss, then look no further than salicylic acid. This naturally occurring compound has been scientifically proven to treat dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis while also removing the excess buildup, dead skin cells, and DHT. Of course, while there are salicylic acid containing products available on the market, we do recommend the use of a natural alternative. Just to kind of finish that off, this can be a great thing to add to your hair care routine to treat dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis, but if you are worried about your hair loss, 
there is no magic cure. It takes a multi-pronged approach with various topical solutions, internal supplements, probiotics, there can be micro needling and other physical products involved. It takes various things and there is no magic cure. So I just want to make sure that you're aware of that uh, after watching the video. Now, if you're worried about your own hair loss, don't forget to get your free hair analysis by clicking the link in the description and make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.